Our executive editor, Palki Sharma Upadhyay, gives us a deeper analysis on the Indian Prime Minister's UNG address. Listen in. This was a speech uh, which covered a lot of uh, areas. Afghanistan, you mentioned, very important. You could say that in this speech, the Prime Minister, without naming any country or party, had clear messages for three, uh, what shall I say, threats. Uh, three countries, three entities that pose a threat to the world. One was Afghanistan uh, ruled by the Taliban right now. He said that Afghanistan should not be allowed to become a safe haven for terrorists and countries uh, should not see this as an opportunity to further their own agenda and use, uh, quote-unquote, the delicate situation in Afghanistan. That's how he put it. The second message directly was for countries like Pakistan. He said that there are countries uh, that, use, uh, uh, that, that uh, use regressive thinking, extremism, uh, and uh, terrorism as a political tool, and they must know that terrorism will come back to hurt them as well. Uh, the third message I would say was for China and the South China Sea. He spoke about ocean resources, which were a lifeline of international trade. And he said that we must do everything in our power to protect them from the race for expansionism and exclusion. It leaves very little to the imagination as to who the Prime Minister was speaking about. So not naming anyone, but clearly sending out the message. Uh, and, and this uh, stands in stark contrast to what uh, uh, some of the other speeches sounded like uh, yesterday. Absolutely. This is something that India has been pushing for for a long time, and rightly so. The United Nations was formed more than seven decades ago. A lot has changed. A lot of water has flown under the bridge. And it's time for uh, the United Nations, too, to show some reform uh, and, and uh, give countries like India, uh, uh, the rising powers in the world, countries that do the heavy lifting when it comes to delivering on, on common goods, as they call it, to give their rightful place uh, at the UNSC table. That's something that India has pushed for. And the Prime Minister very interestingly said uh, that for the United Nations to remain relevant, uh, it will have to make some of those changes. And that's, that's, uh, 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 that's a very important point because uh, we have seen the failure of global institutions like the UN, like the WHO in the wake of the pandemic. And what is the point of having this heavy bureaucracy the world over when it fails to deliver at the right time? The United Nations needs reforms. The United Nations needs expansion. Uh, there are five countries that hold the veto power and practically decide uh, how the rest of the world should operate. And that's uh, not acceptable to countries like India. Remember, India has uh, the, the biggest force. Uh, it is the biggest contributor to the uh, to the UN peacekeeping forces. Why should India not then have uh, a say in uh, in making decisions uh, and countries like India? And he interestingly quoted uh, Acharya Chanakya uh, and he said that when the, the right action is not taken at the right time, then uh, it is time that makes the action fail. So this was a clear message for the UN that it's time for the UN to reform. Otherwise, the UN will be rendered irrelevant. And that is something that, that was expected. We were told in the run-up to the speech that the Prime Minister is going to push for United Nations reform. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.